Tony. Train yourself to let go of everything you fear to lose. It's another big day on the WGN Morning News at 9. Today, we're talking to an expert on real estate about the housing drought going on right now and how to get the best out of a super tight market. Plus, we're just one day away from Cinco de Mayo. Dean's going to fire up the grill for a great recipe to help you celebrate. And may the 4th be with you. We're celebrating Star Wars Day with a game show featuring some very special contestants. Live from the WGN studios, this is the WGN Morning News oh, at God, It's so hard to keep Paul under control this morning. He's so <laughs> excited because of this yeah. Star Wars Day. Yeah. It's just you've got stuff planned all day long. Yeah, it's a busy day for me, yeah. You want to get out of the gate yeah. going. What's your wife dressing up as <laughs> when you get home? <laughs> I'm the princess. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, lucky you. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good nice. one. Yeah, I picked it out. How are you, Toomey? Doing well. Hey, I have a uh, true or false for you guys. I okay. want to show you an ad, and I need you to tell me if you think mm -hmm. this is real or if somebody made this up. All right. It says, burn old flashlight batteries in the fireplace now and then, and, and it says it'll help prevent soot formation and the metals okay. and, I'm gonna and say the chemicals yes. and yeah. the colorful flames. True or false? I'll say true. I bet it's a real ad. Yeah, it's from 1951 in Popular Science. They said that uh, they encouraged people to throw batteries in. <laughs> Don't do it today because no. they're sealed and compressed and it would cause an explosion. <laughs> But that's a real ad. That's ah. science, Larry. <laughs> Make it exciting. <laughs> wow. Makes All a right. colorful flame. Yes, it yeah. does. Thanks, Mike. Man, yeah. that Dean Richards can cook. All right, let's see. He's got this. Yeah. He's All making right. the Cinco de Mayo stuff, and this is like roasted corn or something. People Pretty love cool. seeing us eat on TV. Right. Well, um, wow. It's May 4th, a big day for Star Wars mm. fans, so we put together a very special 9 at 9 with Star Wars facts mm. and other fun <laughs> space junk. Oh, boy. Here and we at go. And number 9, time now. Should we let Paul read all nine of them today? No, mm -hmm. he can't read. Yeah, all right, when Carrie hey, Fisher- I'm right here, I can hear you. <laughs> I know you when, can. when Carrie Fisher first tried on that iconic white dress, George Lucas told her she couldn't wear a bra underneath it. When she asked why, he said, because there's no underwear in space. Yeah. And while that may be true, George Lucas allegedly didn't want her looking too feminine. So they used gaffer's tape to hold down Fisher's chest for certain scenes. Fisher quipped that there was no jiggling in the empire. Mm. Seems like huh. kind of an icky story well, I didn't need to know. It was the 70s. You could do that uh, stuff back then. No. Then they started letting women anchor <laughs> newscasts. Just stop, right. well, Just stop yourself, please. Eat your corn. Go ahead, Pat. Number eight. Mm -hmm. From a galaxy far, far away to right here in the Milky Way, several astronauts say they have felt this. It's called the overview effect. It's a cognitive shift in awareness that happens when you see Earth from space. Something about Earth just hanging in the void it brings about a sense of mental clarity. Wow. And it makes you realize we're all part of this big blue marble <laughs> floating through nothingness. Wow, Pat, that was very really deep. paint a nice picture. Well, yeah, I've you always did. <clears throat> been described as the intellectual of the group, so <laughs> true. that's glad true. I'm yeah. living up to that. Yeah. All right, number yeah. seven. This is Star Wars Kid. His real name is. Gislan Raza, mm -hmm. you might remember this, in oh, 2003, yeah. he pressed record on a camera before practicing some Darth Maul moves with a two-sided lightsaber. Nice. This is 2003? 2003, and this went viral. It's one of the first viral yeah. videos, yeah. wasn't it? Um, it's actually a golf ball retriever he was using. Yeah. Uh, someone posted it, it took off, again, one of the first viral videos, but then with the viral fame, you know, you get the cyber bullies oh, that are nasty. Yeah. People are terrible. People were terrible. They Tell him terrible. to kill himself. Yeah. He had to drop out of school today. He works to help combat cyber bullying. Good for him. I mean, it's just, people are vicious. We gotta talk to this kid. We could give him a call. That would be a good conversation. Yeah, it would. He's probably like 35 now. Right? Yeah. yeah. Come on, hmm. oh. people. Unbelievable. If you're gonna make fun of people, do it on a news show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The old-fashioned way, right. yeah. on TV, none of this yeah. online comments nonsense. Right. Yeah. Number six, the first meal on the moon. Any guesses? Tang. Mashed potatoes. Cheddar worst. Uh, when the lunar module touched down, Buzz Aldrin, Michael Collins, and Neil Armstrong had some time for a meal break before the giant leap, and Buzz, Buzz Aldrin wrote that before the meal, before they ate their meal, he took out some wine and a wafer, and he had communion. Huh? Some have dubbed it 
the communion. Oh, oh yeah. That is awful. Uh, Buzz read a Bible passage and said a prayer. Then the three men had their meal break. The bacon squares, peaches, sugar cookie cubes, and pineapple grapefruit drink, and a cup of coffee. Wow. Yeah. Coffee, that that's can't be bad. easy. Huh. All right, and number five, some alien looking creatures <laughs> have washed ashore in Barcelona. Take a look at these uh, gelatin sea freaks. They're called Valela, I guess. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's two of them. They kind of look like jellyfish, but they're actually colonies of microscopic hydrozones. These little monsters are related to the deadly Portuguese man of war, but they're harmless and they're definitely not alien. Oh, that's too bad. So they're not alien. Right. We raised the question and we answered it. Yeah. Yeah. Which is what good journalists do. Yeah, we right. raised the question no one was asking. <laughs> also, <laughs> which is... uh, number four, Paul, this is Yoda. Oh. It's not the green no. little Jedi master of Star Wars lore, but the force is strong with this one. In the early 2000s, little Yoda here was the oldest mouse in the world. He lived to be four years old. Wow. Boy, that's as wow. old as they that's get. Huh? That's bad. it? Yeah. In people years, he'd have been about 136. Woo. Yoda was a dwarf mouse, and his cage mate was named Princess Leia. He died on May 1st. 2004. Oh, so is that a real bug or is that a toy bug? So that's who was named after. He can't be that small. Mm -hmm. Is he the size of a fly? Well, it's a big bug. I don't know. Or it's a big bug, yeah. It's kind of hard to tell. Hmm. Doesn't matter because he's dead. He's dead. Yeah. And he only been lived for a long years. time, too. He really didn't contribute that much. Number three, back in 2004, the first man on the moon, Neil Armstrong, got a haircut. Then his barber took some of his hair and sold it to a collector. The collector had an impressive stockpile of celebrity hair, including the locks of Abraham Lincoln, Marilyn Monroe, oh. Albert Einstein, and Napoleon. But Neil Armstrong was a private person, and he didn't want his hair out there, so he called the barber and asked if he could have it back. Yeah. The barber said he'd already sold it for $3,000. Huh. So Armstrong asked the barber to donate the money to charity, but the barber refused. Oh, boy. In 2016, the scissors and the comb that the barber used to snip Armstrong's hair was up for sale on Amazon for $38,000. Nice that everyone honors his wishes. Yeah. So nice. Mm. All right, number two. Sorry. When The Empire Strikes Back first came out, Chicago's very own Roger Ebert took issue with the character of Chewbacca. He said, how can you be a space pilot and not be able to communicate in any meaningful way? Yeah, see, I'm not alone. Does Han Solo really understand the monotonous noises, he asked. Do they have long chats sometimes? These are all valid points he yeah. made, but they seem to know how to communicate if you watch. Yeah. They have like a secret language. Yeah, yeah they have a shorthand. Yeah. You know, so. But the fact that he was breaking it down on such <laughs> a level like that, you know, you yeah. just. And uh, number one, Roger may have had some issues with uh, Chewbacca, but here at the old number nine, we don't have any Wookiee reservations. Let's go live now to the newsroom where we have a belly dancing Wookiee for number one. That's the belly dancing Wookiee from Rax Inferno. Shake it, baby. Mm. Welcome, Chicago. Nice. There we go. Ha! Huh. Yeah. Well, had they put some of this in there, you got a bigger audience. <laughs> yeah, bigger you're right. Oh. All right, here's what's going on with our weather. Thank you. Uh, today we'll see a daytime high reading that'll climb to about uh, 74, 75 degrees. It's windy out there this morning, and we'll, we expect these winds to begin to taper off as we get into the late afternoon and evening hours. Clouds will decrease as well, and uh, kind of a pleasant afternoon for us here. Tomorrow will be really nice. Sunshine, upper 70s here. And then Saturday night into Sunday morning, real slight chance for a stray shower. Some of those showers could linger through midday here Sunday, a real slight chance. But a high of only 64 to be in the 50s lakeside. For Monday, a high of 65 degrees with sunshine, still cooler lakeside. And then for Tuesday, a high of 67. 70 for your high here on Wednesday with a 20% chance for a rain shower. That's forecast.
It's our favorite day of the week. We've got a whole lot planned for you. Up next, we're talking to real estate expert. He's got tips on surviving the current housing drought. Plus, he'll tell us the fastest selling air is in the city and suburbs. And later, we're getting ready for Cinco de Mayo. Dean's outside firing up the grill to make some recipes to help that you can all celebrate. <laughs>